all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back update and information as to the heart in case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel uh, kindly go ahead and like our channel comment share and also uh, subscribe to our channel remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news is dropping you will be the first world collector i thank you all my listeners all my fans and those who are joining us today for the first time let's go down to the news proper according to the information we did for my table wahala don't happen and this one they consign uh, the nigerian air force uh, they don't go do waiting no good and um if you reason this one you go use and judge waiting also they happen from para of the southeast something some things will be say they happen there for a long time you go know who mistake all these things they come from their hand make a carry you go for the full detail of the information uh, according to the information the nigerian air force on sunday alleged sent to judgment scores of worshippers celebrating the birthday of prophet muhammad mailud naibi in a community called tundum biri in Igbabi, local government area of kaduna a social activist former federal lawmaker Senator Sheu Sani has said. He added that the Muslim worshippers were killed by area bombardment by the Nigerian Air Force operatives. The Nigerian Air Force has not officially reacted to the federal lawmaker's statement posting this verified, posting his verified X profile. He said the translation of this post reveals that scores of people were killed yesterday by area bombardment during a religious festival in a village near the Kaduna airport clarification is needed ccc at air force at air defense info nig um i don't see what in the happen they say many villagers in the past have reported some civilian casualties in area bombardment in nigeria for instance in july 2022 sahara reporters reported that a jet uh, fighter jet operated by the nigerian air force bombed Kunkuna village in Safana local government area of Kasena state, killing scores of residents. A military jet earlier today dropped airstrike on Kunkuna village in Safana local government area of Kasena state. We cannot confirm the number of casualties now, a source has said. In 2020, a military jet de deployed to repel an attack by BH dropped a bomb that landed in a compound where civilians we are having child christening a fighter jet also on a mission against bh extremists in april 2021 mistakenly bombed men of the nigerian army killing over 20 officers uh, una, uh, i think um what these people are lacking here is what is called professionalism um it's not by uh, using corny corny to put people into things is by giving people people who are qualified for that particular office giving them the office now uh, look at this thing this this is not the first report this is not the second report this is not even the third report uh, that these people have mistaken civilians for their target and th this will show you that the, the person that is actually handling these machines lacks the technical know-how in order to be able to handle these things and that is why uh, they are losing their target to be getting other people who are not the target and look at what just happened recently uh, the, the person that posted this information is a uh, 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 Sani, a former a senator as it is you, you you can see that those people who are handling these machines they lack the technical know-how to be able to manage some of these things and they are by missing target and this will also help nigerians to give the people people who you know people who are supposed to win these things or people who are supposed to who qualify for these offices let the office be given to them let the office be given to them now in another information there has been a confirmation this one is coming from punch news nigerian army admit bombing villagers in error in uh, kaduna government this one they happened for kaduna and uh, this is to confirm what shehun sadly just said now let's go to the full detail of the information the kaduna state government said the nigerian army has claimed responsibility for dropping a bomb 
on Tudumbiri in a Gabi local government area of Kaduna State, which left no fewer than 30 villagers dead on Sunday. The punch report that scores of villagers in Tudumbiri in a Gabi local government area of the state were killed after a bomb was alleged dropped by a military jet during a Malut celebration. No fewer than 30 residents were killed in the incident which took place around 9 p.m. on Sunday earlier. The Nigerian Air Force denied responsibility for their attack. According to a statement by Director of Public Relations and Information, Nigerian Air Force Commodore Edward Gobek, NAF has not carried out any operation in Kaduna in the last 24 hours. However, the overseeing Commissioner of Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Aruan said the general officer commanding one division Nigerian Army and first commander operation were punched. Major General Ovu Okoro admitted that the Nigerian Army was on a routine mission against terrorists when the incident happened. This was contained in a statement released by the commissioner to journalists shortly after the deputy governor, Dr. Hadiza Balabi, met with Islamic Kremi clerics traditional rulers, head of security agencies, where the Nigerian army explained the circumstances which led to the unfortunate unintended attack. Um, according to them, they said the meeting was held at the Sir Kashin Ibrahim government house, Kaduna, on Monday. The statement read, the general officer commanding one division, Nigerian army, Major General V.U. Okoro, explained that the Nigerian army was on a routine mission against terrorists, but inadvertently affected members of the community. He added that search and rescue efforts were still ongoing as dozens of injured victims had been evacuated to the Barao Diko Teaching Hospital by the state government. He also quoted the deputy governor as having commiserated with the victims' families while praying for the repose of the victims' souls. This statement added, the Kaduna state government has received briefings on Sunday night attack which left several citizens dead and others injured. In a meeting presided over by the Deputy Governor Dr. Hadiza Barabare, which had in attendance heads of security agencies, religion and traditional leaders, the Nigerian army explained the circumstances which led to the unfortunate and unintended attack. Now, you see all these kinds of things where they happen. Myself, this is, is a kind of mistake that took the life of people. And somebody can say it is just a mistake. It is because of, I believe that those who are handling this uh, fighter jet or machine or whatever it is, they lack the technical know-how. And I think it's high time Nigeria uh, uh, start their employment based on based on qualification. If you are qualified for that for that particular, uh, if you are qualified for that particular post, that should be given to you. And not when you are not qualified. Because this 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 thing uh, is is causing a, a lot of a lot of nuisance as far as Nigeria is concerned. This issue of I am this issue of um my own person our own people this is the person that is supposed to be there, and because the person is related to you, you put the person in that particular office, and the person is not able to manage that office, and he is selling the he is taking salaries that are meant for someone in that particular office. This is very wrong. So I think um, the, the government in other words should look into some of these things. This issue of employing people due to IM. You are given a, a government slot. You take the slot to your village. Give your people first. And um, all, many other people who are qualified for that particular position in other places are lacking the opportunity to, to, to come to, 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 to that particular point. And they will not be able to assess this because someone's... Uh, Someone, so, someone somewhere has, has given the position to, to his, or the slot to his family members because he felt that his family members are entitled to that. And meanwhile, they are not qualified to it. And this is the problem that the government, uh, Nigerian system of government is having. This is the problem that the judiciary is having. This is the problem that the presidency is having. This is the problem that the, 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 the governorship sector is having because the government or the people have uh re refuse to to employ those who are qualified for the work and rather they are putting those they felt that should be there because 
they are somehow related to them or maybe some people they have extorted a huge sum amount of money for them to be there meanwhile now here i go to wind down the curtain and if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment and share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first who will correct them thank you for listening god bless you